I'd like to thank everyone associated with this evening. I'm indeed humbled and honored with this honor and introduction into the Blair County Hall of Fame. I receive the honor and recognition really not because what I have done, but rather what others have done for me that are in this room. You know, this is really great. I'm not here to deliver a message or to give a speech tonight or to be entertaining. We can leave that to Jay. Coming right up, I'll have you know, late breaking news, I have made a trade tonight and I gave away half of my minutes and tacked them on to Jay. <laughs> so, that's, that's a good thing, as you all know. I also wanna check into the very talented artist that has done all of these caricatures because it just jumps out at you as soon as we walked into the building for the very first time. And another thing that jumped out at me, I looked up, and, and, and this has really troubled me all night. <laughs> because I have two things in my mind when I look up at that. One is how valuable that can be tomorrow afternoon during game four when LeBron is at the foul line. <laughs> I can't think of anything that's more distracting than that. But my first thought when I saw it was, wow, these are all the past inductees. Where am I? <laughs> I see Uncle Fester. <laughs> yeah, Neil, Neil's cutting back on the budget. <laughs> and that's a beautiful place to start. Oh, really? Very good. But I also, I, I really would like to, to thank so many people that are in this room that have been a part of allowing, a, allowing this to happen. You know, both Dave McGarity, Jim Finksler, who you talk about at the beginning of the introduction, are back here at another banquet together. Who knows what's next? But it was an incredible uh, opportunity that was created, an incredible opportunity that, that Dave allowed me to, to enjoy the benefits of and to move on and really, you know, who's going give to give somebody a chance like that? And, and it's something that has been uh, a part of my life and our family's life forever, and we're in, in indebted forever. So thank you. Friends and family that are here, uh, friends from the community that are here, friends that aren't here. We're grateful for the impact, for the, the feelings and the thoughts that we have of this community, the feelings and the thoughts of, of what we all grew up with, what we all hope to achieve someday, and what we all are able to celebrate together every time we are together most important thing I would like to do tonight along those lines is to thank my family. My daughter Lindsay, 13 years old, has a whole world in front of her. Volleyball, basketball, soccer, track and field, ice hockey. Those are just the things that, that she's involved with during the day. Uh, terrific student, bright, bright future. and. There's not a day goes by that when I think of what she has ahead that I don't think back to my days here. The, the advantage that I had over so many other people. I work in a world where guys come from tough, tough lives. They've had to overcome a lot. They've, they've been uh, guys that had to excel in spite of so many things. I never had that. I had it all. I had a great family. 
I had a great community. I had a great school. I had a great support system. I had people that cared. I had people that knew how to make a difference in the lives of young people. I had people that were impactors, and, and that's why I've, I've been able to remember those days and why I just hope and pray every day that my daughter has that same advantage. My wife, Lisa, has been with us through every step of the way from moves from Poughkeepsie to Hopewell Junction to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, to Fort Mill, South Carolina, to, let's see, let's see, let's see, New Orleans on Turnberry Avenue, New Orleans, two blocks over, uh, Oklahoma City, back to New Orleans, let's see, back to Poughkeepsie, and now Oakland, Michigan, for an exciting adventure. A lot of stress and strain, a lot of, a lot of days that you uh, have to keep it all together. And she has been the one that has kept us all together. One year ago this week, if this banquet was last year at this time, we wouldn't have been able to be here. Because last year at this time, she was battling lung cancer. This year at this time, she's beat it, she's cancer free, and she's strong and moving on. So to borrow a Lou Holtz line, I no longer pray for her. I pray to her because she is indeed a saint. We weren't able to be here last night at the reception because I had to work. But I would like to offer my congratulations to all the, the members of the Williamsburg teams and what you were able to accomplish. And the theme music and the Hoosiers is so, is just so uh, real. Because Hoosiers lives. Hoosiers lives in the Williamsburgs of the world, and, and, and there's a lot of communities like that. But when you feel it and you see it, it, it makes you really appreciate what it's all about when people sacrifice and come together. Because 30 years from now is when the value gets increased, and it just rises and rises in the minds and the imaginations of everybody that was a part of it. So I salute you. Donnie Appleman, Jeff Appleman, you know, we all worked at the camps. Coach McGarity up in, up in Loretto, you know, where there was a lot of great things happening and a lot of great days and a lot of better nights. And, and uh, we all remember them today. My job over the last 30 years or so has been to help build teams that can overcome obstacles and difficulties. And as you get older, and you find uh, the birthday candles on the cake end up costing more than the cake. <laughs> you start to realize a lot of things. And I've looked at it and, and said that I've really followed the same blueprint for just about every team I've coached or, or been a part of trying to build. And we've always believed that, that talent is never enough. And character will get you through the dark days. Working together, trusting, believing in the good of people, that'll pave the way to success. These are values that survive all the latest trends or the, the latest demographic surveys. Character counts. How you treat people counts. How willing are you to sacrifice for your team? That counts. These are all at the top of the list as we've attempted to start, start teams and build teams and grow teams and individuals. Now, where did all that come from? It came from right here and the lessons that you taught me growing up in Blair County. It came from winning and losing 
good days and bad days, good nights and bad nights. But the values never change. They've gotten us through the rebuilding seasons, and they've gotten us through franchise best seasons. These values, these Blair County values, have been a compass and provided direction when it would have been really easy to get lost. These Blair County values have helped guide us through deaths, births, the BP oil spill, Hurricane Katrina. I mean, these are some of the, the biggest disasters in American history. And somehow, we've all been in the middle of them. It's, it's something that, that is unique that changes you forever. The people that, that were in New Orleans during Katrina have a pride and a sense of belonging to a community that is unmatched and unknown, that feeling. The closest thing to it, the closest thing to that sense of we're going to build, we're going to make it because we have to, is when you are able to look around a room like this and see the pride and accomplishment of all of these people, the pride and accomplishment of the work that went into building this night. That's, that's one of the closest things that I can compare to that feeling of we're gonna rebuild and we're gonna come back strong because we can and because we have to. Now we all know at the start of every season and at the start of every every endeavor, there's going to be a, there's going to be problems. There might be a lot of problems, but you can't whine about them. You can't complain about them. Ninety percent of the people don't care about them. The other ten percent are glad you have them. But I'm just so grateful that when the problems do show up, and when 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 LeBron comes back on the floor tomorrow in game four, I can count on my Blair County values to help get us through. And so I'm gonna end and say those two words that everybody is so happy to hear every time I talk, anywhere, in conclusion. <laughs> so in conclusion, on behalf of my family, on behalf of my friends, and on behalf of my mother and father, who would have been so proud to have been here tonight with us all, I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for creating this Blair County Hall of Fame. And I thank you for including my family and my friends in such a special, special evening. Thank you. <laughs>